more is just not me. Less is more is obviously not where I'm coming from. As you might guess, where I'm at is all the reasons why settle for less. My gown. Did you by any chance happen to notice it? It's not just a gown, you know. It's a condominium. It was constructed right on my body, and you won't believe the noise. What with the carpenters, the electricians? There is even a VCR in here somewhere. But I don't know how to program. I have a cocker spaniel named Cristal who has a strange obsession for yellow tennis balls. <laughs> he has 20 yellow tennis balls <laughs> and he has a special relationship with each and every one of them. <laughs> one of the balls got so dirty and soggy and disgusting that I wrapped it in paper towels and I threw it in the wastebasket. Cristal was broken hearted. He just sat in front of the wastebasket all day long. He wouldn't eat, nor he would play with his other 19 balls. His entire life was centered on that one soggy ball. Aren't we all like this? <laughs> no matter how many balls we've got, we always want that one soggy ball in the trash. Five minutes, everybody. Five minutes, Miss Catalina. Oh, <coughs> thank you, lover. They all love me opening night. Sybil Brand said it was the most frightening thing she had ever seen. <laughs> and Sybil Brand knows trauma. She owes a woman's prison for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> but now they've been poisoned. They've all been poisoned by that little troll of a critic and his perverted little review. Look at my glasses, they're not keeping well. <laughs> Inauguration. <laughs> and I looked into the annals and <laughs> yet the horror with an incredibly alarming interpretation of a streetcar named Desire. All right, so he wrote one nice line. <laughs> but then is the most disgraceful aberration this critic has ever witnessed in his entire 45 years as a writer and patron of the arts. He hates me. <laughs> I'm beautiful. <laughs> Even if you get past the accent. Uh, what <laughs> So Mommy thought it'll be wise for me to seek my fame and fortune in Italy. Remembering, as she said, you'll find true happiness only through the love of a good man. A very good man. Very generous man. Maybe more than one. And don't you ever forget, if at first you don't succeed, love is lovelier the seventh time around. When the other six are 
six feet underground. It's that seventh time when your heart really sings. Cause you've got a house in Malibu and two more in Palm Springs. Love's more comfortable the seventh time you fall. With a marriage vow that vows to get it all. Here's to men, may the interest on their savings bonds compound. There are those who bet love comes but once, and yet you'll have your own dear jet. The I don't think they cast me for my singing or dancing because they put me in this tiny little feather tutu and ballet slippers. I look like chicken on point. <laughs> Every night they push me on stage and I sang this song. a much higher voice then. I hated the song. But I found out that a little alcohol helped. So every night before the performance, I took a slug of vodka. I noticed a man coming night after night. Finally, I asked him, how could you sit through that dreadful song over and over? And he said, don't you realize that every night you make it completely differently? You sing different words. Your dancing is different. I keep coming to see what you're going to do next. One night, everyone was excited because the great Italian film director, Antonioni, was going to be in the audience. He'd seen a photo of mine in a magazine. I said, my God, this could be my big break. Antonioni would discover me and right away make me a big movie star. But nobody told me that he had this sort of a nervous tick. So I burst out on the stage, but the moment I opened my, in my chicken suit, but the moment I opened my mouth to sing, he let go with that damn tick. I said, oh my God, what have I done? The more I sang, the more he jerked. Finally, I got so nervous, I danced to the edge of the stage, smiled, lean over him, smiled, and 50 pounds of feathers dropped, boom, whee, right on top of his head. He rose from his chair, glared at me, and stormed up the aisle, ticking all the way. He 